In this video, I will show you how to exclude query parameters from page URL in Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GE4, then subscribe to the channel. In Universal Analytics, there was a feature called Exclude URL Query Parameters. This allowed you to ignore unwanted parameters that skew data in your reports. Unfortunately, when I'm recording this video, Google Analytics 4 does not have such a feature by default. But don't worry, I have a workaround for you. However, I guess that in the future, the native feature in GA4 will probably be available as well. So before we continue, check the description of the video first. Maybe I have already added some updates there. Anyway, let's go back to the workaround. First, you need to identify what kind of query parameters do you want to remove from your reports. And when I say query parameter, it's basically a part of the URL that comes after a question mark. Here I have built a freeform exploration where I have one metric that is called page path and query string. And then I have one metric, which is event count. I've added a metric right here to the values, dimension added to the rows, and then I see a report like this. Obviously, here you will see more pages, not only those that have query parameters. So to narrow down and to see URLs only where query parameters are present, you could start with a filter. So you could go to filter section, click right here, and then click page path, and then create a filter where page path contains a question mark like that. So if you apply that filter, you will then start seeing some page paths that contain only the question mark. And here I can already see some of the parameters that I would like to exclude. For example, I have this page ID and preview parameter, and I don't want to see them in the reports because this is actually the home page because the page path is just slash right here. But because of these values, Google Analytics 4 thinks that this is a unique URL. This is a home page. So instead of having three unique rows, I would like to have one row. The same applies to, for example, this landing page. So when someone lands on this page from Facebook ads, the FBCLID parameter is added. It is right here. It's on this page, on this page. And even though all these pages are the same page, actually, because of different FBCLID parameter values, Google Analytics treats these as different pages. So once you identify your query parameters that you want to exclude, the next step is to go to Google Tag Manager. Because in this video, I presume that you use Google Tag Manager to install Google Analytics. So I will go to Google Tag Manager. Then once I open the container, and this tutorial applies to the web container, then I click templates. And in the variable templates section, click search gallery, click the search icon right here and enter trim. Here is a variable template that will allow us to exclude unwanted query parameters. This template was built by Ayudante, which is a Tokyo-based consulting and mobile software development company. So click this template, click Add to Workspace, Add, and then go to Variables. Here you will need to create a new variable. So scroll down, click New, Variable Configuration, and then select the template that you have just imported. Select the target URL. Since we are working with the page URL and we want to remove particular parameters that we are going to send to Google Analytics 4, we need to select page URL right here. If you don't see that parameter right here, then click choose built-in variable and then select page path, but I already have it right here. Click it and then make sure that all the other settings are as I display them in this video. And then we need to add rows for each individual query parameter that we want to exclude. So click add row, then go to your report and then enter the parameters that you want to exclude. In my case, I will enter page ID, preview, SA and FBCL ID for starters. So preview, SA, then page ID and FBCL ID. If you have more parameters, you need to add them right here. And then let's name this variable. I will call it like that page URL without excluded query parameters. Click Save, and then let's go to Tags. Here I already have a GE4 configuration tag and I have one event tag. This container is installed on my testing website. And to exclude those query parameters that we have configured in the variable, we have to go to Config Tag, then click on a pencil right here, Fields to Set, 
add row and then enter exactly like this page underscore location. Google Analytics 4 by default tracks this parameter and it takes its value from the address bar of the browser but you can override its value by sending this parameter and the value should be the variable that we have just created which is page url without excluded query parameters and now let's save this tag and test if everything is working properly so i will click preview then enter the url of the website and together with it i can already add some query parameters that i want to exclude so i will add question mark fbcl id and then let's say this and then for testing purposes i will also include just some query parameter so that i could show you that this variable will exclude only those parameters that i have configured and all other parameters will remain untouched so to add a second parameter you should add the ampersand and then add some parameter value like test equals and then something like that then click connect google tag manager has connected and then in the preview mode, if I click on container loaded, I see that my config tag has fired. I click it and then I see that page location parameter is sent and FBCL ID parameter is not present in the URL. However, other parameters are still available right here. If you're working a lot with Google Tag Manager, then it would also make sense to exclude the GTM underscore debug parameter. In fact, I can do that as well. So let's go to that variable open the variable and then add one more row where I enter gtm underscore debug because that's the parameter that the preview mode adds to the URL. Let's click preview again to refresh the page, continue. And even though those parameters are in the URL, some of them will not be sent to Google Analytics 4. Also, I can go to Google Analytics 4, configure, debug view, and then let's check if those events do not have those excluded query parameters. And here are my events. If I click on page view, for example, and click on page location, you will see that those removed parameters are not available here. And that is pretty much it. Once you have configured this and tested properly, don't forget to publish your container changes. By the way, if you're working with single page application, then the same configuration must be done not only in the GA4 configuration tag, but also in all other GA4 event tags. For example, here I have the generate lead event, so I would need to do the same thing if this was a single page application. So then I would need to add an additional row, which is page location, and then here I would need to include that very same variable right here. And this should be repeated to all tags. I know this is inconvenient, but at the moment that's how G4 is configured in Google Tag Manager. So once you have tested this and published it, then you will need to wait for at least 24 hours, and then you can check the incoming data in your exploration reports, for example, where you are using page path and query string or page location. Oh, and one last thing. If you are migrating from Universal Analytics, which is GE3, to GE4, then probably you already have a list of excluded query parameters. You can find them if you go to the admin of Universal Analytics, then view settings of the view column, and then you will find a section of exclude URL query parameters. So include them in your Google Tag Manager variable that we have created in this lesson. Remember, here every parameter is separated with comma. So for each parameter, you should create a separate row in that variable. And that is how you can exclude URL query parameters in Google Analytics 4. My recommendation would be here to check your page view reports and query parameters at least once in three months. There is a chance that maybe new URL parameters have appeared and they should be excluded as well. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.